Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are going to be testing for... I'm playing in an upcoming RCQ in two weeks. I want to get some reps in with Gruel Prowess, Gruel Slickshot deck I've put together in paper. I've got like every variation, the Mono Red Wizards burn, like this version, every kind of combination of Gruel cards with Slickshot I have together. Uh, so we're going to be seeing if this primary list is the one I want to ultimately end up going with. And we're going to be playing it in Explore, uh, but hopefully it gives us a good kind of analog in terms of how the deck plays itself. We are going to be playing live on YouTube today, so interact with the chat, but we will get some games in. For those catching this, YouTube has like a weird rendering thing where it takes like 12 hours from the live videos to when I can go in and change the monetization. So I apologize in advance if they throw a bunch of ads on it. I don't really have much control with it uh, until it kind of does its rendering. Um, and then I'll go in and I'll timestamp the matches afterwards too, to get a feel. But we are playing some Gruel today. So for those unfamiliar with the deck, what we're trying to do is leverage a bunch of kind of like pump spells, protection spells with Slickshot Show Off, Swiss Spear, Soul Scar Mage. We have a one of Picnic Ruiner, Questing Druid for card advantage. And we have things like a Tarkus Command that's flexible card damage, uh, plus power, and can also shut off life gain, good against like the Amalia decks. So we'll go with something like that. We have Audacity for Trample, Monstrous Rage for Trample, Protection Spells, bunch of removal. I uh, played this a couple weeks ago. The only change I made, uh, I dropped one of the Red Cat Millies, and I want to test out another case of the Crimson Pulse uh, to see how that plays three of case. But we'll go into the games, and then I will explain my thoughts throughout as we're playing out, out the matches. So really, I just... More than anything, I want to just get a feel for the deck, see if there's any changes we want to make, and then just get more reps in with sideboarding. Very much a learning opportunity as we play out. So we will get this going. So really the decks... I'm not 100% sold on the Rakdos matchup yet, the Vampires, so I want to get some more reps there. I've been okay against Control, I'd like to face Phoenix. Wouldn't mind playing the Mirror as well, just to get some some games in with that to see how the Mirror goes. It's very aggressive, this sound right now. Okay, so opponent on the play, no companion. I think we keep this. It's actually not too bad, because I could go Kumano 1, Swiss Spear on 2, and then have access to Blossoming Defense. That could allow us to kind of cheat into some play. So Den could still be vampires. Okay. Um, so with this hand... I think we play out Swiss Spears. So this could be just traditional Rakdos mid. Gruel's basically mono red. It's mono red with some pump spells. So opponent can discard here. Is a bit of a race. I would like another green source ideally. Okay, so we got Picnic Ruiner here. Thank you. So I think I just set up for the tree. Like, I trade this turn, set up the Picnic Ruiner. Because then I can Monstrous Rage, give Double Strike, and then have Protection up, which I like. Kind of get them that way there. Because I don't really want to tap out here, per se. I think we just do that. So if they go like aggressive, 
They will get like a bunch of looks here with Inti. So this Inti is trying to relate erase us. No blocks. Green source would be really good. Let's me set up the audacity and rage line. I think that's fine. They should probably take the monstrous rage. It's kind of annoying actually. Take the audacity, take the audacity. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so... I could have the removal spell here. I can't get enough to give Swiss Spear Trample. Just the man has been really awkward this game. They could have the fatal push. I just don't want to play into it. Because it's like the timing of things. They do have priority because of the blood. Oh, so they're playing Karabak too. Cheat the Sheriff. It's a rogue. It's So they can hit my Swiss Spear. So if they target Swiss Spear, it's fine. We have even just remove like straight lethal with the Tarkus command. We have it with play with fire. So Karavex shoot the sheriff. Some interesting cards to see included there. I'm happy I got the other cases in the sideboard. If I had obviously, okay, so they're just gonna go bone crusher here. So that's 10 damage. They have to block with everything. And then we just lethal them this way. All right. Got there. Picnic Ruiner. Spoiling the picnic. Um, so not vampires. We want the case. I think witch stalker is fine. I don't think we want pick your poison. Caravic could is an interesting one that we might want unlicensers depending, but I think we're fine. I also don't want pick your poison necessarily. That's more for the other match. Right now we only saw fable, which I don't think is enough. 
Uh, generally speaking, in this matchup, I will trim Audacity. I don't like having as many, like, conditional on having a creature card, if that makes sense. I think we just get rid of the Atarka's command otherwise, and run it like this. I could cut a Kumano instead. They are on Fable and Inti. Maybe try this Red Cat Mully. Because Inti is kind of scary, Fable is scary, then the Fable token, they have Bone Crusher Giant, so there's enough threats for one mana that I don't mind that. Right, well, Arena, deciding that server is going to win this one. This is a mulligan. Okay, what is happening here? Let's fire this up again. Don't crash on me, Arena. Don't crash on me. One of the benefits of paper, the match won't crash on you. The matchmaking might. Uh, this hand looks pretty good. We keep. I think we put Witch Stalker back. So it's an interesting conundrum. If they keep a land up, like mana up this turn, okay, so they go Croxa. I think we just get rid of Millie. If they're on Croxa as well with Karavik. I think I'm going to forego because we have two Blossoming Defense in hand. See if they take the block here. They don't. I think we do that. Again, if we draw the land uh, this turn here, I think we resolve here. The Blossoming Defense, we don't want it. at that point there, if it's the first game, I don't want to proactively use it against Rakdos. They're going to have a lot of removal. They tap out here. Okay, blind. Face. So that's four, six, so they're just alive. It's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. So that's two, four, six. Not being able to slick shot yet because I missed the land is also kind of frustrating. Save it for next turn. One off there. They're at seven. Hidetsuku consumes all. So it's four.
So if one card in hand. So they exile all graveyards, so we're fine there. So if they have eight, ten, so it doesn't get it. So I think we just. Try for next turn, hopefully draw another spell. Nah, okay, so. Looks like now we have to go for it. I can't uh, draw here. And if they have a removal, which they should. Yeah. If we had one more life, I could have cased first, which would have got me extra prowess. Okay, so since they're on Shieldred, they're on Croxa. I think we get rid of melee, play the Atarka's commands. May want one fewer case. Just run it like that. I don't think it mattered the turn they tapped out for Shieldred, because I don't think they tap out for Shieldred necessarily. I don't think we can keep that hand. Okay, we'll keep this. Not a great hand, no protection. NT. It's an interesting one because NT sets them up. I could slick shot, do that. I can do this to hand. Problem is, like, without a protection spell. It's pretty all in here. Not a great selection. So they hit the lion there, which is good for them. Um, I think we do this. They block. I could do this and push some more damage through. Leaves me a little soft if they untap into Shieldred. But I think if they untap into Shieldred, I'm probably fine. Because if they go double removal spell here, I just go into Jengantha. We got the fence. So they had priority because of the blood token. Okay, so you got copter. Opponents giving the aggressive GG. Um, because they can do that. 
I think we just passed turn. I need a trample effect. I can't see them playing many kind of bitter triumph style effects, so. So if I do this, this gives plus one one. So I got to do this. Opponent is incredibly impatient. The smugglers cop their like what a showed the opponent is. Like, just play the game. Like, they haven't won yet. They haven't attacked in either. They're playing it very safe. Tarka's command. I, I need like case and the double burn would be the best line. So, a little unlucky. We didn't see Smuggler's Copter. Or I might have brought in Pick Your Poison. I do think with the Rending Volley, I may want either like Forge or... Close. We had one more spell. I ain't giving you a good game. You spammed good game like 10 turns ago when the game wasn't over. Whatever. So, that was a little bit of a tough one. The smaller to the ground ones are a little tricky. Because it's also balancing like how much in terms of like audacity effects. The other consideration I was thinking of is the split in the sideboard here between two case and one forge. It gives me just like recurring creatures with trample. The red cat melee is something I'm uncertain about. It has its viability, but it's also situational. We could also try out the Wizard's Burn version. You get a little bit more in terms of like Wizard's Lightning that can be used as removal, but that game there, we were a spell like a couple turns from winning. That's too slow. We'll keep this. Hope to draw a creature. Uh, they're on sacrifice.
Just try to find something here. Really slow hand for us. They just get the free block here. Hmm. Volatile. I'm gonna plot here. Gives me a better chance of drawing non-creature and the way they kept up makes it seem like they had the push. So if they're doing that, they might have a second push in hand. Give them one more turn. They usually don't have anything for... Take over. I, I usually like keeping it on. Especially, like, I have people that recognize me. So it's, like, fun to play against folks. But um, when they do it like in poor faith, then let's try to bait them here. Okay, so they just gained a life. It's usually not. Like, the thing is, if the opponent gives me a good game in, like, good faith, then it's fine. But the game there was not lost by any means. It's just someone being, like, an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. Okay, so... They thought sees here... This hand's been really slow for this matchup. I'll probably have a removal here. Yeah, they're on Shrapnel Blasts. They use 5 damage there. That's kind of shit. Weird version of Sack with Shrapnel. Wanna hold Frenzy if they play Devil. These little pings are starting to get to me. Just didn't draw really what we wanted to this game. This will be another one where the forge will be nice. They haven't found a cat yet. Yes, they're just going face. Do they have a second one? Okay, well. When you draw your shrapnel blasts in your opener, there's not much you can do there. Faces. Forge, Ferocidon, pick your poison. I think coming in, coming out. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of the frenzies. I think we get rid of Trim one questing druid because our curve's a little higher. And probably get rid of a picnic ruiner, I think. Run it like that. It's a weird version of sack. Just like heavy on 
I wonder if they're on like Fable at all. Keep this. Just don't even give me a chance to play with fire on upkeep. Super cool. Okay, with Croxa. We want to land here. I think because they are a Thoughtseize deck, I want to get Case going first. Never draw lands. A bit frustrating. They have cats. Okay, this is very frustrating now. We kind of got to play into this, which isn't great, but missing the line drop a couple turns in a row when you have your two, like, the two cards you want right now. Okay, so that's a good start. Means that they're... Missing removal. Now they could triple block here. There are four. Okay, that's good. The last card's fatal push. They got me. I think it's been Ferocid on here. Drawing double lines is terrible there. It means I can't oh, I get the case flip next turn. Yeah, bad spot. Okay. So we switch here here. I think we just pass. They're at five. Since they have Croxa, I'm gonna wanna bring in the graveyard hate, I think, post. Okay, it's not bad. This is I basically want to get this case going. Oh, that's nice. Sacrifice an artifact. No fatal push. No fatal push one time. I mean, I'm kind of priced into playing into this. Of course, last card there, and now they have enough for Croxa, which is just... just annoying. Because now I don't have an answer for this, so it's just going to kill me.
So I think we do this. Yeah, I'm just dead here. I can block one, but yeah. Opponent had it pretty much every step of the way there, which is kind of frustrating. Seeing a lot more Crocs today. We'll give this a couple more goes and then I might switch to the wizard one to get some feel. Not a encouraging start. I don't think like that version of Sack's really gonna be popular, but the number of fatal push has me a little worried. So this hand's like a trap. You can't really do anything because it's reasonable. Uh, do, 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 do. Another black base deck into Thoughtseize. Could be vampires. It gives away some information, but... This could also just be the Waste Not deck. No Audacity there. How do, how do I, uh, block someone in YouTube chat? You see, Titan, that would have bothered me maybe 20 years ago. But us, uh, us Leafs fans are just built on disappointment. It fuels us. Okay, so they're tearing apart our hands. Not much you can do here. The post board gets a lot better. I can't really do much. Let's just go to the next game. Even just the order there. So Forge, Crimson Pulse, both good. Pick your poison. And I bring in the Unlicensed Hearse just to give me a threat outside. The Witch Stalkers are fine, but I usually don't want them. I get rid of the Audacity effects. Probably... Do I want the full... Pick your poison's pretty impactful. I probably trim one Unlicensed Hearse. Actually, probably... Don't need the hearse now that I have the forge and trim a kumano. Like that. Um, Leafs fans are like the Rangers or Yankees. Everybody like we we think we're hot shit, but I don't know. Leafs. They just always underperform. Also, in like bas the Leafs are like the Lakers, where we always think like every team, everybody does stuff for us. Okay, so if we can dodge a turn for Forge, that will be very good. If we got Forge down next turn, it could pretty much solo. Uh, 
I think we do this. I know getting Forge down there, but... Okay, that's... that's fine. So... Do this. Might have been right to... Just push the extra damage there, because if they go Path to Peril, it's kind of annoying. They could go Extinction Event here, but... Cool the rest, bro. Uh, so we'll do this. They block there. I guess this flips so it's bad. They gain two. Let's see what they do here if they want to attack. Because they go up to five here, but this kind of. Alright. Even if they thought the Jingantha was in hand, it doesn't make sense. But let's let them make those mistakes. Okay. Forge solos. Um. I think we run it back. The only other consideration, but like Frenzy's not good against. Maybe I should play another Kamano. I think this is fine. The problem is I don't want to... They probably take Pick Your Poison here. Might be Blossoming Defense that they take. Honestly, I think I'm just going to play 2 Forge on this side. There's too many matchups where it just carries. Um, So I did that one now because the damage is always there with Play With Fire. Hmm. I think we just draw.
It's a little draw here. I think we just play with fire on their turn end step. Wanna hit a land here? Forge is good, but I, I think just with the composition of our hand, we want to land. Uh, so... Last turn here, they draw a card. We've gone 12 cards, we've, all, we've kept two lands and just didn't find another. Okay, so they get us that way there. Land off the top, they're dead. Yeah, we'll put him to one life here. Trespasser would be bad, but Trespasser means they probably don't kill us here. They discard Bitter Triumph. Fail push. So they get the block here. That's fine. Rare Kumano Lethal. Got him. All right. We on the board. On the board. I think we're going to treat this like we do standard. Go into the forges always in the side. Because if they're bringing in like heavy removal, which we're seeing at a lot of these decks. Like, I've, I have hardly brought in Branding Volley. I think we do that. So, Forge. Question is like, what cheap burn do we have other than that? Like I'm kind of tempted. I want instant speed, like one mana. I would also like to play against anything other than a black deck just for practice. I think the Waste Knot matchup's pretty easy for us. Rakdos can be tough because Waste Knot, they don't put a lot of pressure on you. Rakdos has a combination of creature pressure as well as like disruption. Fable's tough because it two for ones you. Seto Kaiba. First, no creatures. Keep. I think we put back. Play with fire. Something tells me this is vampires. Rare K 
Cape of Coilos, Black White Humans. So if damage dealt to this source. So I think we just like push lethal here. This can't block anyways. Naturally I cut rending volley. It could be right. The thing is I haven't played against Phoenix enough. Come on, attack. Gotcha. I could always switch to Mageborn Lizard in the side, which could be another consideration. Uh, against humans, I want the Frenzies, I want the Rending Volleys. Probably get rid of the Tarkas command. I guess to the question, we'll see how much removal they bring in. Because like in these grindier matchups, I sometimes like having access to Forge. I don't think we want to be on case. Case is too slow. Forge doesn't let us block. But if we're bringing in more removal, it makes it more useful. Maybe we bring in the case. Run it like that. I think I played Phoenix once. It was reasonable against blue-white control just as... Um, like a post sweeper, but now that I have forge, I don't think I need it. Might be the cut. Sounds fine. Just play some control. Do here. That's fine. Here. I think we protect here. Because if they two for one, yeah, so it's fine. We got two removal spells out of them. And we weren't in combat. Because then next turn I go questing Druid and then I have up removal. Um, I think we do this. Do I care? 
I think we just pass. So I went that way there because questing druid will naturally get bigger. We've already seen three removal spells out of them, so they overboarded. So I definitely would bring in the forge if we go to game three here. I th think... We play a game of chicken with them. So that was like, who blinks first? And then just kind of go from there. So this is a little bit of the concern when you overboard to that extent. And I got the Aganjo. They're playing like mono or Orzov control. Got him. Got him. Because at that point, they use like four non traditional creature removal. All right. Two and two so far. So we said like the forges, maybe not as much graveyard hate. Instead, we can look at. I do think I want. Is like what other cheap spells can we play? Is there protection from black? Isn't there like the beetle? Protection from green. Nah, got mixed up there. So there's nothing from black that gets us. Deal three. I could try maybe a braid, but the problem is like a braid is more mana than I want to play. Fiery impulse could be interesting. The problem is Impulse doesn't hit Planeswalkers, doesn't hit Face. It's like, let's switch to Explore. Like, you have Impulse. There's like Torch to the Tower or Strangle. That's Sorcery. Deal damage. Two to any target. Like there's the reckless rage that doesn't always hit though. And the problem is like you need a creature for it to be reasonable. Flame blast. I think we're kind of limited. We don't really have anything to flip. There's like Searing Blood, but that only does two. Do I maybe want like Bone Crusher as a cheaper creature removal? Because against like those Rakdos decks, it deals with all the Fable stuff, it deals with like Inti. I think maybe just try a braid instead of the melee. I 
Let's see how that does. Or maybe we still play a red cat. We haven't run into the mirror that much. Let's try this out. I'm interested to see how the forge continue to play out. Overall, I'm 9-3 and three with the deck. So it's still, like, good showing. When it goes first, this hand's very slow. I think we put back a druid here. Like, is the arena ladder just mono waste not decks? Think it's probably fine. Gives me another haste threat. Very good start for them. Okay, so they... They have the fatal push. Set this to their end step. Might have been right to hold off with the slick shot. That's fine. This is XL top two cards until your next end step. So I can do it anytime during their turn. So if they try to thought seize me again, the double draw off the of duress kind of hurts. Could have blocked them on that, but it slows me down quite a bit for the turn. Um, I think we do this. I'm going to drew it again here. We got an untapped land, so with the untapped land, I will get rid of my slick shot. So they're going to kill that. So the problem here, I can Swiss Sphere here. It gives them a creature. So I think we just plot here. My concern, I only play one basic and I'm going to lose the den. They have double field of ruin, so it's going to be strip mine here. But I think having flick shot hidden in the shadows will be good. Okay, rage is nice. through some damage. 
I went with that because they're naturally inclined to want to kill the slick shot. I'll get two zombies there. Okay. So... We'll do that. Got there. There's too much fluff in that deck. Pick your poisons. Forges, cases. Didn't see any creatures out of them. So Picnic Ruiner could come out. Audacities come out. Tarkus Commands come out. Probably... One Monstrous Rage come out. It's like the most niche out of them. I mean, if everybody's playing Waste Not, I'm probably happy. The Rakdos deck is the one I'm, I'm most scared about right now. All right. Let's do this. Hmm. Let's do that. Go waste not. Yes, yeah, so they have a pause here. They should have killed if that was the case. Okay, so they go edict here. I think I'm fine to do this now. Obviously, we wanted to try to protect. Okay, so then we're fine here. The edicts are very annoying. Just them drawing those instead of like fatal pushes. Yeah, they're just. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to channel Sokazan here. Forge would be good, case would be good. Do I forego pick your poison to hit my fifth line? Probably not. Just do it like this, pump through some damage, get him that way there. Don't have duress. They get the card draw here. Cool. I mean, that matchup feels good for us. Because I actually don't think I've lost to that one yet. 3-0 against it so far. I think all my losses with this deck have been against very, like, either Vampires or Rakdos mid. So if we're dodging that, we're good. I think the Forge line will help with Case. 
Again, I'd like to play... I haven't faced Amalia yet. I haven't faced Phoenix yet. I would like to play both of those. And this hand doesn't really do anything, so we're going to mulligan. One lander. I think I'm going to put the Audacity. All right, so we have Phoenix. Torch the tower. So this might be Gear Hulk. So we're just going to pass the turn here. We're going to play a little game with them. They're on the Profs version, so Torch the Tower is usually like... Spell Pierce is kind of annoying here. Try to get them to tap out. But the problem is the spell pierce is gonna interrupt me. They got one Phoenix. Treasure Cruise. I'm gonna set an upkeep stop here. Oh, that's actually just great for us. Let's draw here. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. Easy game. Hey, Wambana. I'm not sure what part. You might be on a little bit of a leg, but... Um, so, don't want a Tarka's command. No, no worries. I figure that was the case. Got rending volleys. Don't... I think I want Frenzy. Don't want Picnic Ruiner. I don't want Audacity. I will trim on a Rage. Orange might be too slow, but at the same time, I'm interested to try it out. Kind of run it like that. We might want the Kumanos out. Let's see how they board. They usually play two sweepers. I gotta get the full art Swiss Spears. Slight a hand.
think we just do this. I'm foregoing some damage, but I think it's right. They've shown Spell Pierce, so we'll play around the Spell Pierce here. Then I get the counter next turn, and I have double Blossoming Defense up. Okay, so they kept that on top. And they pick lock. They probably get back Treasure Cruise. And Stress Roll Recall is pretty good. Okay, so they get the bird back. They can treasure cruise. Yeah, they opt to not do that there. I kind of want to save the play with fire. For when Kumano's out. So this kind of gives me the vibe that they have like a three mana sweeper. I'm just going to pass turn here. Big lock here. So we'll do that. I think that's fine. We're foregoing some damage. Return it to my hand. I think that's fine. Slick shot. So if I draw a land, let's kill this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do that. I would treat tap land anyways. That only gets me three. Sitter here. I ditched the prof. It's an interesting one. Might be trying to get Phoenix back here. They could try to Lightning Axe. It's a bit annoying. Obviously, they're going to get their two birds back here.
you don't want to go like all in on some of this. They have so much cheap removal that you're just going to set yourself up to, to lose the game. Like the opponent's shown multiple brazen borrowers. They have four lightning acts, four fiery impulse, torch the tower, all deal one damage to you. That uh, you can't really afford to to get like that level of reckless. You'll lose more like games just kind of going all in. Plus they brought in Aether Gust. The Blossoming Defense wasn't. It was plus two. Oh, actually, no, you're right. I counted it wrong. Yeah, yeah, that was my bad. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That was my bad. That was my bad. You're right. I miss... I was thinking Prowess. Okay. So do this on their turn. Try to find the burn. I have two more play with players. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we probably just see that they mess up, maybe? So here, that's three, four, five. If they have the removal, they have the removal. Yeah, so they had it anyways. I punted that one. I, I think that was like as good of a shot as we were gonna get. Um They had more creatures than I thought they would. I still think the protection's fine. May not want the rage, but may want a case if the game goes somewhat long. So deck one there, streamer lost. I think we keep this. They opt here, keep on top. It's kind of funny. The first game we actually get rid of the second soul guy. Uh, I fucked that up.
I messed that up. I I was gonna trigger that. I needed to do the thing first. So I missed I was thinking the prowess. Good cards, good cards. I know I'm giving them the draw here, but this will put the counters on it permanently. I think we... It's actually really... I, I think we got to do this. I played this very poorly. Like this is a treasure cruise. It means I have another cruise. Yeah, I, I messed this up. It, it just snowballed. I, I didn't upgrade there, and then it just cost me the game. All right, I, I lost that one. That was on me. Learning. We are learning. Because if I just abrade there like I was supposed to, they don't get the flip. And then I'm always playing kind of from behind. If I just... I think the abrades are fine there. Like, it could just be that we go back to rending. I do think I want the hearse. It's a good it's a, it's a good experience because the thing is you forget sometimes the sequencing and then it messes you up. Sand doesn't do much. I'll keep this. I'm gonna put back the Ranching Gantha, so they could be the mirror. So I think we're putting that back. They are heroic. We could be dead. Could be dead. Just Jengantha to hand? What do they have in hand? Okay, we might 
might be able to kill them here. Gotta be somewhat cautious. So like I could play the quest. So realistically, that's so one damage, that's fit so one. Two, three, four, five, six. So three spell. Three spells is six. That's four. So it's seven, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I think I just have lethal. No, one life. Damn it. Oops. I didn't feel like counting. Okay. I figured we were either dead or not. Like, they didn't have it the last turn. The braids, volleys, witch stalkers. Um. This is definitely a weird matchup. I. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Mathing it out. Um, I don't think pick your poisons is that good. Ace could be fine in this matchup. Probably just get rid of snakeskin. Feel like Lord, that must be at least sixty cards. This matchup's like whoever kind of goes off. The fact that they did Jingantha on turn three when they had two prowess threats out means either their hand was all lands or just super reactionary. I think this hand's a trap. We want cheap interaction. Okay, well, equally a trap. We just like... Try to go for it. I think questing druid in the dark is probably better. This deck's like particularly convoluted because like it's not even consistent with what's prowess or not. Missed the line drop. I think we protect here because they could have, um, what's it called? The reckless. This is interesting. So, two spells gives me plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seven, no, five, sorry, three, five, that's eight. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 3, 5, 7, 7 plus 4 is not enough. I 
like prowess. It rewards you for like... It makes these like small creatures so much better. Okay, well that was terrible. Upkeep stop, upkeep stop. What are they at? 11, that's five, seven, eight. Yeah, that's lethal. Oh, and it kind of got screwed there with lands. 13 cards. Bunch of draw steps. Not bad. What are we at when we... Take those. We will take those. Should have had that Phoenix match. Should have had Phoenix. Raven Wings. Not a lot of uh, Explorer players if we keep getting paired up. Try this out. So I'm actually going to likely lead on play with fire first. My thought there was I could have the protection. I think I want a threat. Sure. You can have duress. I'm going to let Audacity go because it's, if they have Liliana here, I'm going to be kind of cheesed. That's quite frustrating. Buys us an extra turn. I get to go Jengantha next turn. Even untap line to be pretty nice. What are the chances that that last card's a removal spell? I'm gonna hold off. Them doing that now is pretty good. Thins out my deck. Double slick shot show off. Fatal push me. So they know about the first blossoming defense. 
I mean, for multi five, hell of a hand. Cool. Matchups like free wins. Forges. This. This. Get rid of audacities. Get rid of commands. Think we trim that probably like picnic runners, probably the cut since we're going up a little. It could be right just getting rid of the rage. I don't want cards that like give the opponent a two for one opportunity. And it's not like superb, but I'll take it. Interesting consideration here. Do we just play for the mana? I guess this is worse into like extinction event, but they probably just have removal here. Next turn, I can ruin her. I'm going to do this as like a, a tell. Damn it. They called my bluff. They cling here. I know this flips here, but it's an interesting line. So I think we trade here. Then I just eat Liliana. They could field me here, but they get me. They bring in the trespassers. Think we just do this? Because they can't like fatal push. Think we do this. They can start clinging, but there's not. Creatures in the yard. That can't attack now. I 
think we passed the turn. Let's go when it gets going. Sick. Sick. It's got like a pretty terrible matchup because you have to play a bunch of cards that interact with the hand, but it's pretty slow to do so when I just dump my hand like quite often. And Shieldred usually doesn't matter. Like they played Shieldred there, I untap that kill them. What did we get? Archmage Newt. I mean, we're killing this mono black deck. Ah, apparently, it's Archmage Newt's Day. Like right now. Let's see, get it up on the screen. So like, it's 12 and 2, it didn't capture one of the Rakdos losses that we had because I had to reset the game at the beginning. Um, but like we're 4 and 0 against Mono Black, I bet Blue White Control, I punted that one against Phoenix which is kind of annoying. It's just the Rakdos match that's been like the tough one. I've been happy with like everything else. So we're like doing a nice job with those games. I do one more. See how this one goes. The forge is cyber nice. I'm going to make that change in paper. I think that this deck's going to be more popular on paper. We've also not played the mirror. Everybody seems to be on that mono black deck. It's a trap. And it's also pretty terrible, but we'll keep. Malia. So if it's Amalia, there's secret text on this card that says Amalia can combo. Could also be Grease Fang. They have Grease Fang, they have Grease Fang. I'm doing this to differentiate my threats, because then next turn I have double a Tarkas command. Because with the Parkeleon, they don't kill me this turn. So they got Parkeleon in the yard. Do they have the Grease Fang? Okay, well, they have turn three. I 
went with the trample this time just because with the extra counters and stuff. So they block, block. I don't know if this is lethal, but it's not. And the problem is here. Unfortunately, they kill me with Grease Fang. I'm at exactly four. So let's see if they see it. It's right there. That's frustrating. Okay, now they're just being dumb. That's annoying. They would have had it anyways, but running volley, a braid. I don't think we want Witch Stalker. Take out Command, take out Picnic Ruiner, take out Like there weren't really decisions that game. Like so pick your poison's interesting, but the sorcery speed on it makes it kind of bad. I think just do it like that. Um, I think we're going to mulligan here. Sounds a bit slower, but I think it's fine. I think we're just going to overwhelm with removal. It's a bit slower of a hand, but I think we can play reactionary here. It's worse if they have something like a chariot. I don't know how much removal they're going to have post board. So they salvage here. They get Grease Fang. They get the land. They brought in Pick Your Poison, I guess for my Flyers. Also for Graveyard Hate. Need a land. I think we're going to pass this turn. I don't want to trade my Swiss Spear, and because they have Chariot, I want to kill Grease Fang before they reanimate. Okay, so they did bring in Fatal Push, good to know.
Fatal push is kind of annoying. Get the draw card at least. Can I get a land? So the problem here, so they've seen two Grease Fangs. They could have, I can't stay awake. I think I just need to try. The longer I wait, the worse it gets. If they have the third in the top, they have it. Got it. Nine. This matchup shouldn't be too bad, but they found every one of their answers, and now these aren't going to do that well. I got stuck on lands and one that pains. Yeah, I can't do much here. They have a very good draw. Like, we didn't start too bad, but being hampered on lions, we weren't able to also put the pressure. They have a third fatal push. now even just a line gets them there. Monstrous Rage maybe gets me. But they're just hitting all their Grease Fangs. Can't do much. We're just dead here. Too many turns. Might have been right to. Like, I don't think it's wrong the way we boarded there. We just didn't get what we needed. Game one, they had turn three combo. Game two, like, maybe we push some damage there, try to trade with their thing. It being Chariot was also annoying. Oh, they. I feel like against that deck, if you don't have the removal, you can't just constantly sit back there. We do that one more turn. We're not really building a board state for us to win that match. See what they're on. Might drew it onto. Might just push a bunch of damage. Oh. Push me. still think this is right. It just forces them to have another removal spell, and then it doesn't allow them to waste not this turn. Okay, so I could push a lot of damage this turn. Which honestly isn't too bad.
Because they don't have removal up this turn. Like, just 11 them. So now they need two removal spells and a discard effect. Still think it's right. Just do this on their turn. <laughs> GG. Got him. Maze Mind's Tome seems so slow. Just play Bank Buster, at least it gives you creatures. Alright, so this match we've played so many times. Pick your poisons. Uh, we will bring in the case. We will take out the Audacities. We will take out the Atarka's Command. And term two rages. This is like by and far the most played deck that we've run into today. Funny, I have a 40% on the play, 83% on the draw win rate. Makes no sense. And I think that like that's the line. While we could have taken a turn off, just push when you have a chance to push like 13 damage, they don't gain life until they get shield druid, which is like turn five, really. So doing it then has some utility. And the hand's got Forge, so we probably keep it. Um... So doing their upkeep. So maybe that was bad. Should have just done it. But they had the... It does tap them out of a land. No! There goes my forge. Damn it. Um, 
Um, so they are going to field me. So like might as well. Try to bait out a couple removal spells here. I mean, if they have two, they have two. Yep, so they had it. I know they have the fields. They can do the fields. I'm going to play with fire them. Man, if we stuck Forge, this game was over. Just do this. They're gonna Guy Reach here. The land. So they managed to successfully loot. They likely have a removal spell here. So it's like I could Jingantha. It's probably fine. So they had cut down, so that's good. Big Moose. Tome. Like, this is kind of fixing our draw, too, which is nice. So let them react. Do it again. I said do it again! You have a third one? Eleven you? I guess if they have extinction event, it's pretty bad. Periled me. Do you have the draw? Did you find your removal? Do this on their turn. So Liliana's a nice draw for them, lets them get the Edict. What's your last card? Um, I think we case here. Problem is they're going to gain some life. Actually, that's pretty good. 
So not quite lethal, but we present a couple threats. They'll gain four life. But then I have case going on upkeep. I do think we want to just take Lily off here. So we are getting multiple cards per turn. They have four life that they can gain. They have a Shieldred, it's six life. But we are drawing three per turn. They're digging. Cool go blank. Well, that's annoying. Exactly, meat hook. We're stuck with this gorge in hand. We should be able to grind them out, but like if they find a shieldred here, it's pretty bad. We try to go for lethal here. Honestly, I think we just try. Boom! Easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. Alright folks, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Pretty solid round. We lost to Rakdos. Lost to Grease Fang, lost to Phoenix. But otherwise, not too shabby. 13 and 4 record. I like the changes with the deck. But wrap this one up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great one and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.